Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of Joe Set Me. My name is Joe and I'm your host today from Essence 2019. I'm here with Asim Al-Qasim. Welcome. Did I say it right? Yes, Asim Al-Qasim. Asim Al-Qasim. And uh, he's here to tell us about his amazing brand and take us through the scent journey of Anfa. So, tell me all about it. And I want to welcome you and uh, thank you for your time as well. Thank you. Uh, I want to start about talking about my story. Uh, I am an Emirati guy yes. who loves and has a passion of perfumes. Was mixing his perfumes since long time, but he don't understand anything about the real time and real things about perfumes. Then I decided that because I have hobbies and every time I'm turning my hobbies to be more proficient. So I changed my hobby to be proficient. I studied perfumery. And thanks that I finished the uh, perfumery studies. Then I decided, okay, let me bring to the world something talks exactly about my culture, exactly about our old history. So I came up with the idea, which is the collection name Anfas. Anfas is the breathing. I'm telling the people that we are a breathing hospitality. When I'm, I'm going to ask you, when, whenever you are hearing about that, you are going to Dubai or any place of Arabia, it's, there is some image comes to your mind. Desert, camel riding, coffee serving, and tent. Because we are welcoming people. Right. So this is why we, I called my collection and fuss. And see, and I'm always, uh, the one thing that I, I've always noticed about this culture is that it is all about welcoming. It's all about uh, the hospitality and the connection. And that uh, makes a big difference. Yes. So, you know, I, I then I, write, I wrote the whole story about the collection, like how to make people understand the, our hospitality very well. So I came up with the six fragrances talking about how I'm welcoming you to my home. The first fragrance is exactly representing the way that when you are walking on the street the, and you just, you have an eye contact to someone, you don't know him at all. We say it in our culture easily, Salam Alaikum, Salam, like hi. Yep. Even if we don't know anyone. Sure, so sure. the first fragrance, the name of it is Salam. salam. The peaceful time, the welcoming feeling. And this Salam, every time when you see someone attractive, let's say like you saw a very uh, pretty lady, nice pretty lady, <laughs> you say Salam, you want to attack her, she will just tell you like this, ah, wa alaykum salam, but in a very shy way. Ah. So there is a fighting between the citrus smell, confidential smell from the man, covered with a vanilla and amber and tonka bean that comes from a shyness lady. Okay, I like that so far. Let's, let's smell this. So you are going to smell salam and you are going to smell the balance between the confident and the shyness. Shy. Okay. So like, I'm already just, just from what I smell right now. It's incredible. Thank you. I love, love, love this. this, this is, we're off to a very good start, by the way. The second fragrance we have it in our collection, like in our, I will I will tell you something in Arabic world. We say, "Salam, marhaba, agrab," which is "Hi, please welcome to our home." Marhaba is welcome to our home. This is where we I'm taking you to our formal living room. We have two kinds of living room: inner living room and outer outside living room, which is formal, is the hugest one. Everything we have in our culture every day morning, our moms goes there and distribute some bukhur early morning only in the early morning then what they are doing they are just bringing the fruit tables and dates and between that and that you have the food serving so here you are going to smell a huge renewable smell from a fruit table but with a very light of dusty smells from Bukhu. wow it smells phenomenal it's, it's so i mean so far everything that i've smelled so far is just Incredible. And the first one is, is so far my favorite, but still, this is so good. It's rich. It's beautiful. Very nice. The third fragrance, whenever you don't know anyone, you try to break the ice. You start to say what? Tell me about your good news. Yeah. Give me that good news between you two, just to break that kind of us, which, which move us to the third fragrance called Sa'ada. Sa'ada is the happy moment. In this fragrance, you are going to smell a smell of the musk, to give you the diffusion of feeling. And with that musk, you find a toparose and vanilla and tonka bean 
So gave you the feeling of, oh, I'm so calm. Uh -huh. See, I already, when you say vanilla and tonka, those are two of my favorite notes. Uh, like you said, uh, oh my gosh. I love the way this is going. The vanilla and the tonka are just so... And you feel that calming? Then I'm moving you from our outer living room to our inner living room, which is I took the concept from the courtyard, our old courtyard. Then you can find an old Arabic courtyard, you can find the fountain, and surrounding that fountain, you can find the greenery. That smell, you know, it reminds us the same smell of the flower shop smell. You know, when you enter to a flower shop, usually you feel a very peaceful feeling, the inner peace. So it takes us to a fragrance name called Samaha. Samaha is the inner peace, Samaha, which is, we are talking about the year of tolerance in our yes. culture. This is representing exactly our tolerance. So you can smell the green, watery kind of smells, like a flower shop. You are on opening a flower shop. Yeah, and it's, it's a very interesting, it's very botanical. It's a floral that's not green floral it's a green floral but it's not a floral that's just all about the bloom it's all about the balance between the green and the floral oh my gosh guys you gotta smell this you gotta smell this if you could smell this through youtube you go you can do that then i brought a flower from a flower shop then there is starting of that kind of touch of love yeah would drive us to a fragrance name called mahabba Mahabba is love. Here I take a different concept of kind of love. Like when you're so relaxed, you know relaxed, on the beach, having a coconut with mango, with a pina colada juice, but the base is not that sandy base. The base is patchouli to make it powdery. That you are missing to just need to hug someone. This is the fragrance called Mahabba, which you feel you are in the very beachy side that you want to hug someone. I smell the coconut already. <laughs> so interesting the coconut with the patchouli makes it so creamy and so so powdery oh, like yes. you are you are melting with someone as well and there's just like a just a little bit of smokiness to it too just a little bit but not too the the last fragrance comes to this collection called shagaf shagaf is the curiosity of continuing the story of love we started that the shyness was covering to make the balance. Yes. Here, no, you can find the only confident smell comes from a fresh tobacco leaves with black pepper, ginger, covered with the Laos oud and vanilla and tonka. I already know what this is gonna be like. Look at the color of that juice, guys. And the sprayers. Look, I sprayed once only because so <laughs> strong in this one. <laughs> Yeah, the food from Laos is it's a fruity kind of food. But you can smell it's the real food, guys. Not not a cord. It's real this is there is ten percent from a natural wood inside this food. And, you know, this is why the juice is so dark as well. Incredible. This is so and you good. can smell from that one a fresh tobacco leaves. It's not yeah. a very dusty tobacco leaves. Why? People w were asking me, okay, you have these six, six fragrances representing the welcoming. What comes after? I told them there is something called Watan. Watan is the homeland. Like when, when I want to deliver a message that when you love someone, you live him. And this drives us to a four angles of that kind of love. The first angle called second. Second is the belonging. Like I gave you an example. When you are growing up, you have some bad moments, you just run directly to whom? To your mom and to your grandma. And this fragrance is exactly second. It's like my old grandma wardrobe. You can smell from here some herbals, some coffee, and with some cardamom and the old fabrics. But this doesn't smell like an old lady. Yeah, not old ladies. These are memories. Oh, oh. These are memories of, of spices and things in the house. Like the old wardrobe. But it smells great. That cardamom and spice is just so warm and inviting too. I mean, this is very nice. This would be great for autumn and winter. Excellent scent. 
The second fragrance is called Gaia. Gaia is the destination. Like when you love someone, you are supporting him. You want to grow up together. You want to have him going to the peak and peak. And in our country, we are growing up a green mango. Imagine in a very desert places, there is no rain. We are trying to grow up a green mango. Here you are, try, you are going to smell a very hard green mango comes out from the ground. Because of the milk smells to, to the, this mango and some saffron. I smell the fruitiness of this. It's fruity mango delicious. It's so good. It's really good. The third fragrance called Watan. Watan is the footstep. You know, like I'm going to give you a very dramatic thing, like you are walking in our sand dunes. And each footstep, I'm telling you that each footstep is changing me. You are formulating me, everything. So here, because I will tell you also another information. Whenever you have a footstep, the sand dunes will reshape because of the wind again to change, to be changed. And then this one to represent the, the gourmand kind of the sand dunes, I used a caramel with some vanilla as well and this covered be... also with a Lao school. So this is going to be gourmand? Gourmand. It's a very kind of different food. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. It's a tough one between this food and that Yeah, one. it's different. This it's... one is a hard one. That one is so sweet. But I love this one. This is, this is one that uh, maybe if you're just getting into foods, but you want a real food, not fake oud. If you're getting into oud, this is amazing. Awesome, awesome. The, to completing the angles of right. Watan, we take us, drive us to a fragrance name called Ishq, Ishq, which is admiring. It's a very easy word to say it. When you love someone, he's living in your veins already. So here I was representing the, how to make the feeling that I'm living you exactly. I'm admiring you. I try to bring people to have a memory to remember the kind of blood. So I take the red berries with some jasmine and vanilla to make it like yummy. You want to be melted with that one as a sexual feeling. I already, I already can tell this is gonna be amazing. So here you can feel it like, you know this, like I want to be melted with you. So anybody that's walking by this booth right now, is smelling the cloud of, of perfume that we just sprayed out. First of all, these atomizers are amazing. You can see what, how well it looked when we sprayed them. Love this one too. I don't think I've smelled a single one that I don't love. Is it's it? a pleasure to me actually, if you like only what? one of them. <laughs> I like them all. I mean, there's some that I like more than others, but there's not a single one I don't like. What's wrong with It's me? a pleasure to me, you know? It's a pleasure actually to me. And this is the message that I want to deliver to people that you can see from this whole collection, I started without mentioning, like whenever you are seeing Arabic fragrances, Arabic perfumer, usually people, they thought, oud, oud, oud. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And all collection, I have only twice oud within 10 collection fragrances. Wow. And we have a different kind of concept of that one. And I will give you a very single detail. If you go to this one, I will show you only the box first. From this, this for the new collection. This box is representing the Arabic door. It's an Arabic door, but it's not locked. Look, it's open for you from inside. To open it, and when you open it, you are going to see this one. When you see this one, it's a table. On top of that table, there is the plate. From here, the sun of Arabia and the flower to give you the smell. And from down on top, you can feel the abstract from the palm leaf to tell you that there is a culture behind this. A lot of detail that goes into making these bottles and packaging and everything. And that's what that's what I love about brands like this. I mean, the stories are amazing. Thank you for taking us through the entire scent journey of this brand. It's, it's quite an amazing brand. So, guys, you need to check this out for sure. Uh, make sure, seriously, make sure to follow Anfas on Instagram. Check out the website. I'm going to include links down below. To everything so you guys can make sure to follow them uh, really uh, so it's a pleasure to me thank actually you so much for, for really taking me on this journey with you this it's is a pleasure a, to me as well quite a, quite a journey and uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in
live from Essence 2019. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much.